What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. Hope you all are feeling great wherever you may be in the world. Today I am going to do a tutorial for Adobe Illustrator how to create a new document. How to create a new document. If you're new to Adobe Illustrator, you know that Adobe Illustrator is a great software to help you draw and create to the endless possibilities of your imagination. Please make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and click the notification bell so that you are reminded every time that I release content. Let's go. All right, everybody, I have my Adobe Illustrator pulled up and I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do this real quick. You can see some of the artwork that I have been working on. I've been working on some stuff for Michael Jackson, Corey X. Kenshin, etc. Press create new and I have my customs there. You go to the save tab and at the save tab, anything that you had saved, like your templates, what you would find here. Then go to mobile and on the mobile section, you're going to find all the presets that are for like the iPhone and the Google and the Surface, etc. Down at the end, you'll see where you can change the PPI. Web has all the different sizes that you need. You know, the HD 1920 by 1080. And you got some little platforms or presets you can use down at the bottom. And then on print, the print is set up. Um, notice that it's on CMYK and it uses the points. They go to film and video and film and video you'll see you know different settings hd 4k uh, etc right so if you're dealing with video and you're planning on doing some artwork for video this will work for that and of course there's templates for that as well and the last tab is art and illustration now i'm gonna say something real quick uh, you can go in here you can customize the width and the height you can change the points to inches. Uh, I typically use inches, so I'm gonna customize it. And what I normally do is sometimes I might do different sizes, but for this case, I'm gonna do 18 inches in width and 18 inches in height. Uh, orientation is gonna be set, you know, because it's basically a square. And then go down and I always set it to CMYK and you'll see a little asterisk and that's because of the art and illustration doesn't use that particular setting. The CMYK, uh, which is cyan, maroon, yellow, and black, are the colors that combine and give you the best possibility of color. So if you're gonna do something and you're planning on keeping it original to the way you intended it to be, I would definitely use CMYK. RGB works as well, but it works better for if you're just keeping it online. But if you're planning on putting on anything else like paper or print, a banner, or anything like that, uh, I would use CMYK. So you can save this um, and I'll just create a name uh, and this will, you know, how to create a project. And I think I might change that name later, but uh, I'm creating my name. So that way when I go to save this project, it'll have the name, create document, okay? And sometimes it takes a little while for it to come up. And then once it comes up, then you have this blank canvas, okay? So think of it just like your canvas or your blank piece of paper. If you need to adjust the artboard, you can click on the artboard tool, which is on the side. And say, for instance, I wanted to change the dimensions. I can take it from 16 by 16, or maybe I want to do 11 by 14. So you definitely can do that. And this is pretty much it. This is the first step. I know this is very simple. Uh, it's just for creating the project or creating a new document. So I'm going to do some little sketching. I'm going to try to do some drawing. And then once I do the drawing, you can kind of see how it works. Uh, but this is not a drawing tutorial, so this is just focusing on first time, you know, in, in the same way with me when I first got into a Adobe Illustrator. I was like, hey, I gotta, I gotta do this thing, you know. So I try to look at a lot of videos on how to do this. So um, the first step is getting it up, you know, and creating a project or creating a document and then get in there and start exploring with the drawing, which are going to be some other steps that we'll do later on. So I'm just going to do basic um, and I do have it set on the wrong thing. So I'm going to switch it to brush. You can press B on the keyboard and I can just kind of sketch some stuff real quick. Um, nothing major. You know, just some little line work. 
uh, using some of the brushes that they have. All right, then I just control out, delete it, and I'll save it. And I had a project earlier that I was working on for this, uh, but I had to redo it video-wise, so just our new project. You can also save it to your iCloud. <clears throat> I'll leave all of it the same. And there it is, it's saved. All right, you all, I hope this first tutorial video helps out. Um, if you have any comments or questions, definitely put them below. Make sure you hit the like button and definitely subscribe to my channel. I will be posting content every Monday and every Thursday. I might post more than that, but at least expect those two days. Uh, thank you. Take care.